Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to do part one of the build of the LEGO Ultra Agents Mission Headquarters, or Mission HQ as they put it there. Um, 1,060 pieces, set number 70165. This actually came out in the first wave of Ultra Agents, which was um, 2014, I believe. So um, it's been a while. I've had this sitting around for a while, so I'm finally getting around to it. This is actually the last Ultra Agents set that I have to build. Um, most of all of them you've seen on other videos on my channel. So we're going to go ahead and just get right into this. Turn it around, kind of shows you all the different play features you have going on here. We're going to cut the seal and dump the contents out. So move this down. All right. So we have four loose tires in the box, put those off to the side. We have our instruction books and sticker sheet in its own little cardboard backed bag. And we have numbered bags, we've got a six, a five, a seven, a four, a three. A two and a one, and we have four more tires that were loose in the box. So I'm going to move all of these bags off the table. Just put them right under the table. That way we can spend the time on each bag individually. So of course we're going to start with bag number one. Let's set this up. There we go. <clears throat> so there's the bag one elements. We have a couple small bags in this big bag. We've got these little ball pieces that are Time to roll away. This is the last small bag. All right. And let me open up this bag of instructions. We've got a giant sticker sheet. We have a, even though these were in a um, cardboard backed, they still put them in there folded for me. So that was nice of them. It's like they're supposed to help protect it. But we have a small instruction book number one that's been folded. And my instruction book number two is this bigger one, and it's actually in pretty good shape. So um, I take any folded instructions, you kind of reverse fold them to try to get it fixed up right. So we'll just go with this. All right, put this thing to the side. I've got enough of those laying around. Let me go a little bit lower here with this camera, I'm trying to make sure we get a good angles of everything as we build. There's going to be quite a few um, big builds. It's a it's a big set, so as we get around to the bigger stuff, we'll have to adjust the camera as we see fit. So we're going to do minifigures now. This is the Ultra Agent with some 
sort of headgear on his helmet. Got like some sort of binocular type pieces. And then he also has the famous stud shooting gun. There's our first minifigure. Next one is the female figure who has a pretty big neck bracket type backpack. So we'll start with this element. Start attaching the little pieces. Just basically just some studs. shapes and then a bracket on the bottom modified plate a double bow shape which is black and we get to use our first sticker already creates this powered rocket looking element on the back and we'll put her head on and she has the dark pink hair A little back heavy, so you kind of have to lean her forward. Make sure she stands up. And last minifigure is the villain. This villain is Terabyte. He has a crazy helmet piece. There it is. There's, it's got this little cool little trans green piece kind of gone through it. And he has kind of a electronic looking gun with a little keyboard on the side. Trans neon green. And then just dropped him on the ground. All right, so there's his abnormally large weapon. There we go. So those are the first three minifigures. I'm sure we'll get around to the others in the other bags as we get there. I'll just kind of leave them sitting off to the side for now. They're extremely, actually I'm just gonna lay them down over here. They're extremely top heavy with all of the gear and stuff that they're holding and wearing. So, just laying them on the ground is fine until we get the stuff built and we can stick the, uh, the legs on some studs or something. Okay, so the first thing we're going to build is like a, a small either plane or some sort of drone type plane. Technic brick. Okay. 
and we have a printed tile here. So it's a little bitty flying plane and there's a lot of small parts. It's basically all the, all the small parts from the two little bags. Here's the, the wing elements. They do kind of fold up to the front and go to the back. And... These little guys... Ultra Agent sticker. It's got the uh, the Ultra Agent logo right there on that slope. I have two Technic pins that go in these little modified plates with a little Technic pin bracket on there, just like that. And another sticker, let's see, it's another Ultra Agents logo on this tile at the top. So, it's real small with that star with the A on it, let's see if you can see it, there we go. That's the Ultra Agent logo, and right there on the front, a little bit bigger. Same logo. So when I say Ultra Agents logo, that's what I'm talking about. It's that little A. A with a star shape. Alright, and another heads up display sticker. Let's see, where is it at? So they didn't number these stickers. It's a little bit older set. On the newer sets, they're starting to put numbers by all the stickers. To help find the right ones. So that's our little flying thing. Put that to the side. Next we're going to build the, I guess, the villain's mech type machine. the same little printed tile that we saw in the little airplane. It's this uh, looks like some sort of control panel. Next we have this 
light bluish gray Travis brick with the flexible hose pieces on the two sides. Put that on the jumper plate. Bring the hoses around. Attach them like that. Next we have a little windscreen. A curved shape with a sticker. Just have to find the right sticker. There it is. it on. Flexible hoses are going to pop off quite a bit, I can tell already. All right. Now we're going to build, looks like the leg elements to this mech type of thing we're building. Not very clear on the instructions if this goes in the middle or not. I'm gonna try it there first to see if it all works out. Looks like it will, because we have to have this on there and then this piece going over it all. Jumper, and we have this dish. And we have another sticker. like that, turn it like this, and attach it right there, and then this attaches right there. Put that to the side, looks like we're going to build another one, or something similar to it. sticker. Bring this over this way. Attach 
change that there. Kind of looks silly, but it's coming together. Next, we're going to build a little looks like claw arm element. Bushing and cone shape. The arm element like that. It's a giant claw. And lastly, a little ball shooter piece. There's the completed little mech. We've got the ball that goes in there. Of course, you squeeze this together. Don't shoot your eye out. All right. Now it looks like we have this little drone device. to the back of the, the mech that I guess it can shoot off and fly around. Alright, so looks like on her backpack I did forget to put two of these little studs. So that completes bag number one. Let's go ahead and um, move on to bag number two now. <clears throat> Here's bag two. And in bag two, we're going to begin building the, the truck that's going to pull the HQ trailer around. So we're going to start with some Technic bricks, a couple Technic pins, zoom in a bit so you can see what's up, We've got some axles, a red bushing. Try not to put those bushings on all the way too tight because it'll prevent the uh, axles from turning.
skip one. One, two, three. Couple more axles. One, two, three. There. Skip a hole and put two more on. This should attach just like that. Line up, everything looks good. We have this sloped brick with a stud on it. And those will attach to the sides. Cover up those blue. And the more that you can cover up these, Technic pinholes, the better it looks. Yeah. So we've got some big arches here. It'll be used to kind of create the front cab area. And then some brick elements. Both sides. Plate to tiles. And four of the two by two plates. <clears throat> Another archway. And some more plates. Some slotted tiles. We have this Technic um, kind of gear selector element that we will attach to this piece so you can see how it kind of moves back and forth like a switch. Plate, two of these little one by one 
modified plates with a tooth on it. Couple more plates, turn it around, tile, and that goes there. So it kind of creates some sort of sliding piece. And we put these big slopes all the way across the rest of it now. That will kind of hold everything together. And let's see what's next. We put that there. Some tiles. Pieces. Got some fender elements that creates the look of a fender. Have a couple one by one bricks with a stud on the side. That completes bag number two and we're going to stop this video right here so this is kind of where we're at with everything we've got some minifigures we've got a mech we've got a little flying drone we've started the truck so uh, make sure to check out part two where we continue the build of this thanks for watching and we'll see you next time